Okay, hi. What's your name? Okay, my name is Satinder Paul Singh Puri. Okay, and I see your sign. You came here with the sign. You made sure that they saw your sign. So you guys have had some organization to, to put this together. Okay, I am uh, you know, leading this campaign, Leave Public Square Alone campaign. Okay. This is a six-month-old campaign. I demonstrate uh, mostly in public square, carrying my sign. So far, there have been demonstrations close to 200 hours going on for the past six months. And the campaign says, Leave Public Square Alone. Why do you want... Who is, who is bothering public square? Okay, what happens is... Public Square at present is a 218-year-old park, mm -hmm. and it has Ontario Street going north-south, a major artery, and then it has Superior Avenue going east-west, another major artery, and it's a beautiful park, works very well, very active, full of people, a lot of energy, and the revised plan is they want to make it into a bigger park. They say they wanted something like Central Park in New York, except that they forget that Central Park in New York is not one big park, it is really five parts which are connected together by bridges and the traffic goes in bath stops, mostly mm -hmm. cross town and on the surface, it, on the north-south direction, it goes on the surface. So, Ontario Street is a major artery, mm -hmm. Superior Avenue is a major artery, they want to totally close Ontario Street, they want to narrow Superior Avenue from 77 feet to 48 feet. So you can't block off two major arteries and expect the traffic to disappear. So what happened was in 2012, the Republicans had their RNC meeting in Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. And some of the folks couldn't get back to the hotel rooms until 3 o'clock in the morning. So they had traffic nightmares. They came in, they chose Cleveland, saying, oh, this is a walkable city, and you can go around, there's very good transit, and no, no problems with traffic. But if you block both of these, we are going to have traffic nightmares of a scale that Cleveland has never seen before. You cannot block major arteries and expect the traffic to disappear. So I, I have my, you know, I, I have my own blog, Real Neo. Tell, tell, tell them what the blog is, so they can go to it. Okay, the blog is Real Neo, R-E-A-L-N-E-O. And my name is Satinder, S-A-T-I-N-D-E-R. Two middle initials are P as in Paul, S as in Sam. And the last name is Puri, P-U-R-I. So I have my own blog at Real Neo. And I post uh, on, on Lee Public Square alone. And I'm also opposing the, the pedestrian and bicycle bridge that they want to put up connecting Mall C to to, uh, to, to the harbor because the reason in here is we already have two crossings, East 9th Street and West 3rd Street and there's no need for a, for a bridge, no justification has been provided and normally for bridges we get funds from the DOTs, the Ohio DOT and the federal DOT are not providing any funds for this bridge. It's a totally unnecessary bridge. And I will also be protesting outside the county headquarters because, it's, uh, because of the waste that is involved.